Well, hello there, ye faithful few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where the kids are cute and even sometimes resolute. What does resolute mean? You'll work hard. You'll work hard and keep hiking. Well, so the Rugged Mountain Mister here wanted to do a video today and set up a tent in the backyard and camp out again. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I like the idea of thinking about gear for backpacking and for camping as tools. And so you use different tools for different applications. And when it comes to tents, we have four different ones and they're, they each have their place. So first off, whenever it would just be myself going or myself and the Rugged Mountain Mister, maybe just two of us for like a one night trip, we would use the Trekker 2.2 tent that we've talked about a lot. We've sealed the seams and we are ready to use that in, in any conditions. And it's just super fast to put up and enough room for, for two people and some gear. Now, if it's the whole family going, or three of us, and we're just doing one night, or, or maybe even two, and we're doing backpacking. I want to do two. Two nights? Mm -hmm. We would use the Trekker 3 tent that you've seen in a lot of our videos. We've got that seam sealed, and it works great for us for backpacking trips. So those two tents are, are the ones we'll use when we go backpacking. However, for car camping, and we want a little bit more room, we have two other options. Now, the first one you have seen in our previous video, and that one was the cinch tent. Now, this one we like to use because it's got a good amount of room, and it is quick to put up, and once you get it down right, quick to put away as well. So we use that cinch when it's just kind of a one night trip. Now, if we're gonna do two nights or more, we have yet another tent that we haven't shown you before. So this beast is the Ozark Trail 11 person cabin tent with private bonus room. Now this is what they call an instant up. And it is actually really pretty simple to put up and to take down. And so this one is what we're gonna camp out in tonight. And it's the one that we're gonna show you in today's video. So typically I've got Rugged Mountain Mama or Rugged Mountain Sister to help me put this up. So with just me and Rugged Mountain Mister, it's gonna be maybe a little bit more challenging, but we'll just see how it goes. Are you ready to put it up? I'll do the stakes. You'll do the stakes, yeah. all righty. Okay, let's go.
that's it. She's all done. So yeah, that was about 14 and a half minutes doing it by myself. Mostly. I don't want Rugged Mountain Mystery to hear that. So for the size of this tent, 15 minutes, eh, could be quicker. Obviously the cinch was faster, but there's more, a little bit more room in this one. So we're gonna roll this up now. I don't think we'll need the awning today. So we've got two toggles on this. There's the first one. And there's the second one. So we'll unzip it here. And there you go. Hey, mister, you know what we need? What? We need your vacuum. So we got some stuff in here that we need to get vacuumed up. The Rugged Mountain Mister is going to take care of all this stuff. Alright, so here we go. Let's take a look around the Ozark Trail 11 person instant up with bonus room. Just walk around first. Here's a little room that sticks out the back. Not yet. So there we go. This tent has a power port right here for your power cords. This is where the rain fly is connecting to these loops. The tent body connects to the poles here. Um, got some guy lines right here. Some more up in the tent. We've rolled up the awning and there are poles for this awning. Again, typically we don't use those. Here is the release button. You really don't want to push while it's up but so the pole goes inside here and then there's another release button you can see right here hit that and the pole goes in that way lets it get really compact and nice big windows on the side got a window in the top of the bonus room window inside here so here's how the welcome mat hooks in there are these little rings right down here connected to the tent I'll just hook it on like that and I really wish they put one in the middle they didn't and we'll typically stick a tarp out here or something but it's a nice little addition that I can appreciate. Appreciate the idea, at least. Could have done a little better on the design though. But. Okay, so now, take you around the inside of this thing. It is possible to do with one hand. stand up in this thing. How can you stand up? Because it's super tall. We got our hook up here for our lantern. We got the door opens up nice. Actually we're gonna a bee got in here. A bee got in here. Yeah. Oh man. So it's got a mesh top and you can see here where the uh, the button is to release the pole in the different locations the tent connects to. This guy's side, this could be going inside. 
It would glow in the dark, I bet. And there's a cross pole. It goes up and over. Here is our extra room. And there's the view. We've used this as a separate kind of room for the Rugged Mountain siblings. Um, Rugged Mountain mom and I have had our cots pushed back here. So there is a really nice amount of room in this tent. So this little curtain right here will connect into this loop and this loop and separate you into two different rooms. This right here will close completely. It's got loops right there that you can just unhook and close that off. I'm, I'm gonna brush my teeth. And then the, these loops right here where the curtain connects to the floor. There's another one right there. Got some pouches over here for your gear. There are loops in the upper corner up there. There's another pouch for gear over there as well. This is where the power port comes into the tent. Rugged Mountain Mister enjoying his time in the tent. That tent looks huge to you, mister. Yeah. You're just a little boy sitting in the middle. Alrighty, well, we just spent two nights in the Ozark Trail 11 person cabin tent and went great, very windy, but this tent's very stable. And as I said before, it's been a fantastic tent for us. So getting ready to take it down. Now my goal is to have it down and put away faster than my screw up takedown of the cinch tent. So here we go. goodness eight minutes and 44 seconds so that is three and a half minutes faster than my screw up cinch put away and about three minutes longer than putting the cinch away normal so there it is everybody that is the Ozark Trail 11 person cabin tent with bonus room so thanks for joining me on checking this tent out and you all have a great day.